most, it's important to have political solidarity across different contexts and conditions. As critical urban scholars around the world, we work in a variety of different political environments. And in many places around the world, including obviously right now in Brazil, there are real threats to um, political freedom and academic freedom. I have students in my classes from Egypt, from Iran, from China, Hong Kong. So th th there are questions about the freedom of academic inquiry, especially for scholars working in critical traditions. And by working together, supporting one another, and developing collaborative uh, research networks, that is important not only for sort of intellectual solidarity, but also for protection. Uh, when there are threats to scholarly freedom and freedom of speech and, and freedom of academic inquiry, which of course are rampant in, at the moment in the world, and there are major threats um, kind of looming on the horizon, being part of a network can be, um, can be very transformative. And so there's no question, like in these times more than ever, we need to consolidate um, networks of support and research collaboration uh, in order to protect individual scholars who may be threatened, in order to give students horizons for um, thinking critical, critically and doing creative critical work even when they may live in a political climate or in a political um, context in which those kinds of academic and intellectual freedoms are being threatened. There are threats, again, including in my country, in the United States, there are threats and precisely through scholarly networking we can have a a kind of shared voice, a unified voice to protest and, um, and maybe do more than that depending on the particular context. For me the foundational issue is just that we need alternative ways of thinking about the world in order to come up with alternative political strategies, period. And, and that's why theory matters. If, if we don't have alternatives to dominant ideologies of identitarian violence, of authoritarianism, critiques of the rule of law, then we're lost. And so critical theory in a context like that is essential because it, it's grounded on, um, on philosophical and political foundations that go back to you know, centuries of political struggle for empowerment, for democratization, for equality, for ecological sanity in more recent years, etc. So this is an intellectual legacy that is deep and wide and broad, and it's global. It's connected to anti-colonial struggles, it's connected to fights against uh, authoritarianism, it's a connected to visions, it's connected to visions of more egalitarian, democratic, diverse social and political formations and their built environments. And those kinds of uh, alternative modes of thinking are uh, under attack and, and, and also just not being taught in a lot of universities around the world with the kind of onslaught of uh, neoliberal and neoliberal authoritarian reaction. So for that reason, having like detailed, elaborate scholarly networks which enable scholars around the world to work together to um, continue to uh, develop and advance these traditions and to, to disseminate knowledge about them is absolutely essential. Because none of us are alone in our particular struggles. We're, we may feel alone. We're situated in particular institutions where we have different battles that we all have to fight. We're situated in different local and regional contexts where particular battles occur. But there, there are broader intellectual and political solidarities that we, we have to maintain. So we'd have to concretize the discussion to talk about different kinds of networks and what their advantages might be. But for the project, or projects in the plural, because it's not a singular project, but for the projects of critical urban theory, we need to continue to experiment with ways to support one another across regional, national, um, international borders, precisely under these, these conditions of uh, rather grim global politics at, at this moment. Thank you.